Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the Broadlink Smart Button Kit. With the Smart Button, you'll be able to trigger actions for individual devices as well as multiple devices with the press of a button. In this video, I'll be keeping it simple and taking you through how to connect each button to a different applet in IFTTT, as well as using it with your native Broadlink devices. So in the box, we have a quick start guide, three AAA batteries for the button, a micro USB cable to power the hub, a wall mounting plate, a bunch of different stickers that you can label your buttons with, the Broadlink S3 hub, and the smart button itself. To begin, first you'll need to install the batteries into the smart button. And then to ensure that the buttons are working, just press each button and see if the LEDs light up. Next, plug the hub into a USB power source and leave it connected at all times. Otherwise, if the hub is offline, you won't be able to use the button. Now head over to your phone and install the Broadlink app if you haven't already. Once the app is installed, you'll be able to start adding the hub and the button. After selecting Add Device, choose the Wi-Fi device option to begin the setup of the S3 hub. During the setup, you'll need to connect to a 2.4 gig wireless network. So make sure you know which SSID you're connecting to and that you know the password. Once you finish setting up the S3 hub, you're ready to start adding the smart button. On the main menu of the app, just head up to the top right hand corner and select the scan QR code to begin adding the button. And once again, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Now that I have both the hub and the button set up, I'm going to head over into IFTTT to create three different applets to control a couple of different devices located in my SmartThings, which is also linked to IFTTT. I'll be creating one applet to turn on my lights that will associate to button one. Another applet to turn off my lights when button 2 is pressed. And one to lock my front door, which will be triggered by button 3. And finally, I'll be creating a routine in the Broadlink app for button 4, which allow me to turn on and off my Sony TV using the Broadlink RM4 Mini IR Universal Remote. Now that we got all four buttons configured, let's see it in action.
As promised, Broadlink offers a smart button that's capable of controlling many devices, either in its own product line or by controlling third-party devices with the help of IFTTT. During my testing, I didn't see a real benefit to using it alongside Alexa or Google Assistant, as the main reason to get one of these is to press the button. I also think it's important to note, if you're planning to solely use this with IFTTT, you'll be limited to creating only three apps unless you opt to get the pro version of IFTTT. This is where I'm gonna end the video. If you have any questions, drop them down below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.